Hey guys, this is Hong Bango. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite the beautiful Janae here to lend me her canvas and play another makeup look for you. We're so inspired by the beauty of Monica Bellucci, and I think she's one of my favorite, favorite face I've ever seen. So I thought we create the little inspired makeup look for you. I hope you like the look. It's, it's hard to find because she looks amazing in so many different looks, but I think this is more somewhat her signature in my version. So I hope you like it and give us a lot of love. Always subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumb up and share them. And don't forget to follow both Janae and myself on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always do skincare first. The first product I'm using is Lana Lips. It's a great lip balm from Australia. I always let the lip balm sit on the lip first and then later on it goes smoother with the lipstick. The next product I'm using is the eye cream from Royal Fern. This is from the doctor in Germany. It's a very beautiful brand. Always very gentle around the eye area. The next product is the serum. This is one of the most beautiful serum I ever used. It is very gorgeous, very hydrated and calming at the same time. The best way to apply the serum, just press it to the skin. Don't forget to have on the neck as well. Last is the Phytoactive Rich Cream. I always put a lot of moisture on the face first. Give the face a little massage. Let the product work on the skin before you start foundation and concealer. To look today, I'm going to do more full face makeup. It's really matte that I'm doing but I still want the skin to feel really hydrated. Usually when you do too much of the matte makeup look, if your skin is not hydrated, it looks very cakey. So when you do the skin prep really well, the makeup gonna go on a lot nicer. For foundation, concealer, and color corrector, I use the color corrector from NARS the foundation from Givenchy and the concealer from KVD Beauty. For the color corrector, I use a little bit under the eye area. And just a little bit around the mouth area. You can use a concealer brush. Just blend it out. All she needs just a little color corrector and that's all she needs really. We don't have to do too much concealer or anything at all in everyday wear. You see that that's all she needs because the color there just genetic and just a little bit and you put a little color corrector, it's really just cleared up everything. The makeup I'm doing more full face, so I'm gonna use concealer and everything. But in the everyday life, you don't have to do like all the full on.
Chen and I have really beautiful skin. We are always so jealous about how, you know, like no pores she has. So she doesn't really need too much anyway, but we are playing again today. It's all about not how much makeup you use. It's just really the look I'm trying to create. So I'm going to give her a more a fuller uh, coverage. And she excited that I'm actually doing more full face because when we work on a photo shoot for a fashion shoot, when someone looked this beautiful without makeup, most people would say, oh, don't put anything on her. And so a lot of time the model doesn't have a chance to have like full face all the time. And it's nice to play it up a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you see, I just put a little bit and I just blend it out. And the color I'm using, a little warm, but I think it's just blend to her body really well. This is a very beautiful medium to full coverage foundation for someone who want more a matte finish. It's a great foundation for you. It's have really good coverage. It can look more dewy just because I do a lot of skin prep underneath. But if you just use very little, it is gonna give you a lot more matte finish than this. But it does cover really well. I use just a little bit and I blend it out. So someone who want like a fuller coverage, this is a great foundation for you. The concealer I'm using is from KVD Beauty. This is a green apple concealer. It's very popular. It's a great, great covered concealer and it's very hydrating at the same time. Because sometimes most of the full coverage concealer, they can be a little dry, but this one is actually very hydrating and it does give you amazing coverage. I use mainly under the eye area and around the nose. I use the same brush that I used the color corrector earlier. That's where you see the color still there. Because the look we're doing is Monica Blue G inspired makeup. So her eye always very lifted and it's always elongated. So I'm gonna use a little concealer on this area. Just brighten the area a little more. And sometimes just from brightening the area, this area is actually helped to lift the eye up. For contour and shading, I'm going to use this palette from Kevin Rukon. They have highlighter as well. This is the cream and this is the powder contour. Monica is very sculpted in all her look. So I'm going to use a little bit of the contour. A little bit here. So the best way to find the cheekbone is you just feel where the right below the cheekbone there and that's where you play the contour if you want to know where you want to apply and just a little bit around the hairline as well and I'm using this foundation blending brush from Monica Blender and then I blend it out this is a great foundation brush as well if you want to find one And the best way is to blend it upward. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I just put a little bit on the side. You think this color is really beautiful, it's very natural. It's like a little taupey. I love that when you do a contour, that it looks like the natural shadow of the skin. When you do contour, when it's too warm, it's not good. I usually put bronzer after instead. When you do a contour, it's better to do more a cooler tone. You see that's just more like not too warm. For powder, I'm going to use the Easy Bake Powder from Huda Beauty. The shade is banana bread. So I do a little bit under the eye area. 
I'm gonna cover the face pretty matte because that's the whole look I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna matte the skin out quite a bit with the powder. But this powder is so sheer. So even if I powder a lot, it takes the shine off, but it doesn't create a lot of deposit. So it's still very natural looking. I use the cream, so now I use the powder to enhance all the sculpting even more. Same on the other side. Do a little bit on the forehead as well. With the left over, just a little bit around the nose, just for definition. For the eyebrow, I'm gonna use the eyebrow pencil from Kimiko and the eyebrow marker from Stila. Monica naturally have pretty full sculpted brow so i'm gonna give Janae the eyebrow a little fuller and but still not painted on so i'm trying to make it very natural you see the way i always do to do backward like this to create a lot of depth on the brow without painting on and then i use a marker just create some individual hair you see just doing that the eyebrow look fuller without all the heaviness yeah And I'm also going to extend it and then a little arch as well. back and forth you know you just have that's how you do the eyebrow you do a little backwards and then some you just draw them and after that you can use a marker just create some individual hair So it's something like this to start. I know Monica even darker, but because Janae's uh, hair is not as dark and I don't want to make it any darker than this because it could look too harsh. And I'm do the same on the other side. To set the brow, I'm going to use the brow frizz from Anastasia Beverly Hill. It does help to gel the eyebrow up really well. For eye, I'm going to use these products. The first one is the primer from NARS, eyeshadow from NARS as well. I'm using these shades right here. I feel like Monica, she wear everything with more taupey or brown or black. And then these two eyeliner, long wear from Chanel, is a black pencil. And this is like a taupey brown color. You can use any other color that you have in your a makeup kit but I'm using these today and a mascara from Lancome this is the Lashy Doll this is waterproof mascara to start I'm using a little bit of eyeshadow primer and this one the color they have tinted color they have deeper color too but I'm trying to choose the shades almost like her skin color For the black pencil, 
I do mainly on the upper lash line and the upper water line and the other color I do the water line on the lower part. To start I use this along the upper water line and I'm using this as an eyeliner as well but I'm gonna blend it out. Close your eye. So basically it's like a smudgy black liner I'm doing. It's gonna set really fast because they have eyeshadow primer and it's a long wear so you have to blend really fast and do one eye at a time. I know I say this in every video but if you use a long wear it's great it holds for you but it set really fast so you have to be really fast when you uh, application. For the taupey brown shade, you can do it on the lower part. You can use the black one as well. But even though I do the inspiration from Monica Bellucci, I still want to do somewhat suit my talent as well. And that's why I'm gonna tweak the color that will look to the person I'm doing. So whoever you're doing the inspired look, you get an idea, but then you just have to adapt the look that suit the person you're doing. And you see the way I'm doing, I just extended it up toward where I do the black liner earlier. So I still keep the eye a little lifted. Let's see. I'm doing the same on the other side. And use the deep gray shades here. Now I'm just gonna blend the edge it out. Cause the black, it just helped you lift it but the rest of them just really just to, you know, you can shade the eye, you can shape the eye, give a lot of depth. And this is more like a smoky eye that she always have and it's lifted. I'm doing the same on this side, same color. I'm smudge it out on the lower lash line. Still keep it lifted. Okay. Same on this side. Next, I'm using this shade right here with the larger floppy brush. Close your eye and just in the crease area and blend it out. And do a little more the crease area and I noticed that one thing is like you know I don't like the white in the corner there and I think like Monica I, I look at the picture all the picture last night it's similar with her I never see like a white highlight in the corner like most of us do I usually don't like it and I actually say wow she actually do something like that as well which is great because I personally never enjoy it. I think it shortened the eye and when you I keep the eye wide and feline, it's so sexy. And you see that I'm using this one and just blend back and forth. And up a little bit. Go back to this color. I smoke it out even further. And then I blend it out, the edge it out a little bit right here. Go back to this shade here. I do a little bit on the brow bone area. I'm going to use the new Adele Light at Air lashes and I'm gonna use this off camera and I'll be right back. I'm going to use just a coat of mascara to blend the natural lashes and the fall lashes together. For blush, I'm using this blush shade from M Cosmetic. 
It's an interesting color. It's more like a yellowish, curly. I think it's nice. It's for someone who don't want your typical pink blush and it's more tone on tone. I think it's great like this. You see, it's very subtle, but it's beautiful. For highlight, I'm using this highlighter from the brand called La Bougeau. I think, how do you say it? La Bougeau? La Bougeau. La Bougeau, yeah. And with this, a fan brush from Refer. I just give it a little highlight on the cheek, a little bit of everywhere. For lips, I'm going to use this lip liner from Anastasia Beverly Hill and a lipstick from a brand called Linda Holberg and this is the shades so I keep the lip more nude tone but with a little something Monica have really pouty lips so I'm gonna overdraw the upper lips a little bit And I have gorgeous lip shape. There's nothing wrong with the lips at all, but I just want a little bit full on the upper here. So we trying to do the inspired makeup. So I'm just gonna do as close to the look that I could. So that's why I'm just overdraw a little bit. We sit there, look at all the picture earlier, and we say, oh my God, she's Monica Bellucci, her face unreal with all the pouty lips and everything. So that's why we're gonna try to recreate a little bit today. Smile for me a little bit. And you see, even what I'm doing right now, it's not really over drip, it's just right on top of the, her natural lip shape. And then a little bit on the bottom here. And it's, the lip is more lipless, so I'm gonna do somewhere around there. So the best way is just fill out the whole lip with the lip pencil. You said that even if I withdraw the lip like this, you still can't really tell much because it's, it's all blended together. And then I'm gonna do some lipstick. Even the lip liner alone is beautiful. You don't need to use lipstick if you don't like to. This is a gorgeous lipstick and combination. And it's giving me very much the Monica Belushi. I think this lip combination is just gorgeous. And I think the little overdraw like this, it looks really nice on as well. To complete the look, I'm going to use a setting spray from One Side Beauty. That is the final look, guys. This is my Monica Bellucci inspired makeup. I hope you like it. If you like this kind of idea video, just leave in the comment and I will try to recreate it. Of course, it's not look exactly Monica because Monica, she has her own look and she has a lot of different makeup. But it is a lot of her look, I think it's give you that feline eye and smoky eye and with lashes. I think we did a great job. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep the channel always a lot of love subscribe to the channel give us a thumb up and don't forget to follow all of us chanae jacob and myself and my team on instagram as well we post a lot of different things we are working in hair makeup artists so we have a lot of material not just these things so you can check it out thank you so much for watching